What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today's video is kind of going to be a short one, but I do want to get a couple things out of the way. With the recent release of LaunchBox 9.0, a couple new awesome features have been added, and I'm going to show you how to use them. First up, clean up images. Now this is something I've been really looking forward to. I know I got a lot of duplicate images in my LaunchBox build here. This can save us a lot of space depending on how much you've imported. To use this feature, really easy to do, but you do need to be on LaunchBox 9.0 or above. So make sure you are updated. And to do so, we're gonna go to Tools, Options, Updates. Now there's a couple ways you can go about this. This is the way I have mine set up. Every time I start up LaunchBox, it's gonna check for updates. It'll prompt me when there's an update. I can click OK, it's gonna download it for me and it'll install it. Another thing you can do is automatically download updates in the background. Now I used to have this on all the time, but I wasn't sure if it was downloading something in the background. I wanna know that I'm fully updated when I start messing around with LaunchBox, so I just select check for updates on startup. Now that you know you're fully up to date, we're gonna go back to tools and find clean up media. So from here, we can clean up our images, our videos, our manuals, and music. Now, if you've added your own music, I would not mess around with this option here. I just stick with the manuals, videos, and images. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. It's gonna to start to scan my LaunchBox media folders. It's gonna look for my manuals, videos, and images. Then it's gonna determine if I have any duplicates and it will delete them. This could take a little while, so just be patient. It really depends on how much you've imported in a LaunchBox in the past. Okay, so it's all finished up now. I had 10,219 duplicate media files and all of those were removed. Click OK. Just save me some space on my hard drive for sure. The next new feature I want to go over is the auto-generate child playlist. And that was the main reason in making this video. I just wanted to get that clean up images out of the way because it can be very useful. This new feature will automatically generate playlists for each one of our systems. So we can go with all games, favorites, genres, regions, play modes, developers, and publishers. It's actually really simple to use. And I want to give a big shout out to Jason because he put a lot of time in this to make it work correctly. So let's say we wanna auto-generate some playlist for a certain console. We'll go with NES. If I right click here and I'm in the platforms category, we will not have the option. We wanna be in the platform category section. From here, we'll go to consoles or computers or arcades, whatever you wanna generate for. I'm gonna go with consoles, Nintendo Entertainment System. I'm gonna right click, auto-generate child playlists. This will auto-generate child playlist underneath the selected platform. Please select which playlist you would like to generate below. So first up, we have all games. I'm going to leave this checked. It is recommended for use in big box. Favorites, genres, play modes, regions. You can set up in genre subcategories, in play mode subcategories. And if you have regions checked, we can do in region subcategory. You can also select by developer or publisher, but it's not recommended for performance reasons. And let's say you got a hold of some new games that you recently added to a certain platform. You can remove all existing auto-generated playlists. It will remake them for you. Or let's say you just didn't want play modes in there. We're going to go back here, click OK. It'll remove all of the existing generated playlists and replace them with the new ones we've selected. So I'll just go with all games, favorites, genres, and play modes. I'm going to click OK. Give it a little time. It's going to do its magic in the background. 25 playlists have been added to my NES system platform. Click OK. And we're going to find that. See we have a new marker here. Drop down. All games, favorites, action, adventure, beat em up board games, casino, so on and so on. So there's a lot of stuff to choose from here. Let's just say I wanted to go into a fighting game. All of my NES fighting games are located here. I'm going to do this one more time, but I'm going to select a few different options. We'll go with Super Nintendo this time. Make sure you're under platform category. Right click. Auto generate child playlists. 
I'm going to select In Genre Subcategory, In Play Mode Subcategory. Click OK. 24 playlists have been added to my SNES section. So now we don't have this giant list if you use the subcategories. You want to go to Genres. Got all your stuff in here. Puzzle Fighting, Life Simulator, Education. And then we have our play modes. Co-op, multiplayer, single player. So if we want a single player game, choose it from here. Go to my genres. I feel like playing some strategy games. Got them all listed here. So it's a really awesome feature and it's super easy to use. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching and hope you enjoy the new features built into LaunchBox. In order to access all of this, make sure you are updated to the latest version. Personally, I really like that new cleanup media feature. It's going to help me out tremendously on all my different builds. I got a bunch of PCs around here with different LaunchBox setups on them. And I know I got a lot of extra images and videos that need to be deleted. I actually need to go ahead and get on that right now. If you could, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all the LaunchBox news and tutorials. And like always... Thanks for watching.